You know, there's one thing about firearms that almost all self-appointed internet gun experts can agree on, and that's that wheel guns are simply the best. Now, there are a few tactical noobs out there, or tactical rubes, as I like to call them, that don't know that. These are the kind of guys that swallow, you know, all the high-speed, low-drag, you know, tactical beard crap that they're fed on the internet. So they don't understand why revolvers are so much better than semi-autos. So tonight, I thought I'd take a moment to spell out in very clear and easy-to-understand terms why wheel guns are far superior to any type of semi-auto handgun. One thing we all know about handguns is they're pretty much good for one thing, that's up close and personal self-defense. And that's why the most important factor about most handguns is how well they carry. How good of a carry gun are they? Well, when we're talking about semi-autos versus revolvers as far as carry goes, we all know they carry much easier. Semi-autos with their flat sides just don't fit well into the more shapely, full-figured uh, form of the modern male. Revolvers do a much better job of that. So if you have a revolver, you're more likely to carry it because it's going to fit you better and it's going to be more comfortable. And another very important thing about your carry gun is you're going to have to be seen shooting this thing. You're going to have to practice with it at the range. If you're shooting a revolver, everyone's going to be like, wow, that's a powerful round. That's a man. If you're shooting a semi-auto, everyone's going to be like, oh, isn't that sweet? His grandmother loaned him her gun. Another thing you're going to have to consider about your carry gun is how accurate is it? And who carries semi-autos? Who's one big group of people that we know that all carry semi-auto handguns? Well, that would be the New York Police Department. These people carry Glocks and they have a miss rate of about 92%. That means only about 8% of the time that they shoot their guns do they actually hit anybody. Now, who do we know that carries revolvers? That's right. The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. And the Lone Ranger never misses. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Another thing you want to consider when you choose your carry gun is the caliber. And the most popular caliber in self-defense revolvers is the 357 Magnum. An all-around, all-American, blue-blooded handgun caliber. The most popular round in semi-autos, 9mm, which is a European round. Ooh la la! And another thing about the American rounds, like the 357 Magnum, they're taller. And taller and bigger is always better. No matter what your wife tells you when she pats you on the shoulder and speaks in that patronizing tone, bigger is always better. That's okay! One of the most important factors about your caliber is, does it penetrate? Well, with a nice big round like a 357 Magnum, your penetration needs are always going to be met. Uh -huh. With a little European 9mm, do you really think that's going to be true? I don't. I'm sorry. But it's not just penetration that's important, it's all around power. I mean, what if you were out walking one day and you run into an amorous bear? You meet a bear who's got some loving on his mind. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what's my chance in my everyday life of getting into a confrontation with a horny bear? Well, every year in this country, more people are attacked by bears than get into running gunfights with terrorists. Yet every day on YouTube, a lot of these operators are telling you, you need a high capacity semi-auto because you're going to get into a fight with a terrorist or a running gun battle with a bad guy. That's less likely to happen to running into a bear. So I think you should be prepared for the bear. And if you've got 357 Magnum on your hip or 44 Magnum or another revolver caliber, you've got a good chance of convincing that bear that you should just stay friends. If all you got on you is 9mm, well, be prepared because you're going to be on the receiving end of some hot bear loving. Blow, chicka, blow, blow. And let's not forget one of the most important factors about your carry gun. You have to choose a carry gun that makes you look cool. And who carries a revolver? Go ahead. Make my day. Dirty Harry. And who's cooler than Dirty Harry? And who carries semi-auto? Well, the most famous one would be James Bond. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, that's pretty cool, James Bond, right? Well, not really when you think about it, because James Bond, like the 9mm, is also European. Cup of tea. And finally tonight, I have the most definitive proof ever that revolvers are far better than semi-autos, and that is... <laughs> divine intervention. As I was sitting in line at Taco Bell the other day, debating in my head which caliber is best for self-defense while I was picking up a quesarito for my youngest son, I got up to the window and paid and I was given this receipt. 
As you can see, this receipt is clearly a heavenly sign that 357 Magnum is the best handgun defensive caliber. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, well, maybe he meant 357 SIG. Hardly. God ain't made out of money. He clearly meant 357 Magnum. We all know God is a wheel gun guy. So there you have it. There's just a few reasons why revolvers are clearly superior to semi-autos when it comes to self-defense. Everything from the fact that they're easier to carry down to the fact that they look much cooler while you're doing it. And then there's that little thing where they're endorsed by God. And who are you or I to argue with God?